What's up guys, it's your boy Randy with On Edge TV and today I'm going to show you guys how I got this shot in Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's get it. So I'm in Premiere Pro and the first thing I did and the first thing I did was I started with the carrot. So here's the carrot. This is what it looks like. So I brought it in my timeline and I walk you through my effects here. Let me turn these off. So the first thing I did was uh, something still on. Is I keyed out the bottom, the bobby pin. So I put I put stuck a bobby pin into the carrot that chopped it, chopped it up, stuck it into the carrot, and then I taped it to my um, um, little electronic spin thingy. I don't know the name of it, but um, I keyframed the mask, maxed that out. Let's see here, let's see, masked it out, boom, and then I keyed it out. So with the keyer, you don't have to do just green or blue. You can key out essentially any color you want to key out. So I knew that I was going to do a clean slate. So if anything around it was going to go like be noisy or be lost in the key, I could have brought that back with the essential the clean slate that I did. So once you shoot your carrot, I brought it in and I keyed it out. Then I masked it. Not bad as I cropped it because if you get here, you see the tape from the backdrop. So I just did a crop on there. So then I nested this clip and I, all these clip shots here, about 14. So I just duplicated it a couple times, a bunch of times and I just changed the rotation speed and the size and position to make it, you know, really give it some randomization to it. And then once I did that, I nested it again and I just duplicated it. So it's cutting off at the bottom here. That's fine. I'm gonna mask that out. So I just cut it out, just made it longer because it wasn't fitting the, the pour of the shot when I poured the drink in. So here is where you, it's just rough. Say I did the same key effect on here. So let's take this off and um, all right. So with this shot, if you look at the original shot, I just poured in the carrot juice, which it got filled up. Didn't touch the camera at all. And then I put the top on. So once I did that, I masked around it. So let's go look at the, what I did, just turn that off, boom. All right, so this is what it looks like, and I just did a mask. It's a rough mask, looks like crap. And then I just keyed it out. See, it looks terrible right here. That's fine. And then what I did was I brought this in. And yeah, it was already animated in the previous comp here. So brought them down, boom. So now I'm here in, the, in this comp, so I'm just you know, bringing it in and it looks, looks good to me. I mean, of course, this is my first attempt trying this with Premiere Pro. If I do this again, it would be a lot cleaner, a lot better. So then I went to, I pre-composed that, not pre-composed, I'm thinking about After Effects. I nested that clip and then I brought in the carrot by itself and then I just moved it and I keyframed it to go up and then I added a going to go up and I added a blur to it let me go back so I keyframed it up and I added a directional blur to add that blur up top there and then I just brought in the other clip so it looks like it's you know look like it all blends together and there you have it so with this I just 
keyframe the position to make it look like it was a camera movement. So I started zoomed in, I scaled it up, and I just scaled it out and moved the position down. Then I added an easy ease in so it can ease in when it's done. So it doesn't come to a hard stop. So with the bottle cap, what I did was I just, so this is what it looks like the raw footage of the bottle. Just stuck it on something and let's do it right here. And I just rotated it like that and I added a rotation in post here. So just keyframe the rotation and then as soon as it got here so i found out like if you look here turn this off it's going and then the bottle just appeared so as soon as the bottle appeared on the cap i cut it here so it looks like it fits so i just lined it up and i scaled it to fit perfectly and then just look like the bottle fit so um I also added a directional blur on here too because I don't, I mean, didn't want to do a motion blur because it's easier on After Effects, but I added a, mo a directional blur to make it look like it was, since it's moving, add some kind of movement to it. Um, and then, yeah, that's it. So, and once you take off the, so this is my clean slate. No, I was trying to render because I turned something off. So this is what it looks like without the clean slate. You can still see all the imperfections here. Looks like crap, really. All that noise in this corner over here. Just turn the clean slate and let me show you something real quick. See the bottle? All that, all this crap here. Just turn on the clean slate, boom. Blends it all back together. And then I just add an adjustment layer and I just color corrected, color graded the whole thing. This is raw. And this is with everything graded. So, and just boosting those highlights a little bit. You see all this mistake here. Just boost it a little bit and it hides a lot of it. So, I mean, well, if you really just paint, like, looking really close to it, then it's going to look like crap. But, yeah, so that's pretty much the whole thing. And that's how it looks. And, yeah. So, yeah, if this video was helpful, definitely hit that subscribe button. Like this video, comment, let me know what I can teach you guys how to do next. This is was a lot of work. Um, I wish I can go in like major depth, but we'll be here for hours. So just a quick overview of how I got this shot. But yeah, thank you guys so much for uh, watching this video. Thank you guys for subscribing. If you already subscribed, you guys are awesome. But yeah, let's get it. See you in the next one. Peace.